So the next step is to pair um, your machine via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi to the Nespresso app. Um, it should work for the Virtual Pop and the Virtual Next. So the first step is to download the Nespresso app, which I've done, I have it on my phone. Um, the next step is to launch it on your smartphone, as you can just see I've done. Then it says click the machine icon in the top right hand corner. That then brings up your machines. Now, I, my phone kept getting frozen on this bit. Turn off your Wi-Fi, turn off your Bluetooth, then turn them back on. And it then asks to connect then. It says access requested to allow communication between your device and the Espresso connected machine. So I press OK. And then it was allowing me to scroll across because it was getting frozen before that. Um, and it says why pairing your virtual. So it gives you reasons why to do it. Um, it says you can pair the virtual next or pair another connected machine. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna turn the machine on, make sure it's all working properly. Yes, yeah, so the machine's on now. I'm gonna say pair with another connected machine. And we'll see if it can find it. It may then ask you to enter your Wi-Fi password. So it said place your phone on top, but it didn't need to. So it then says enter your Wi-Fi password and mine may already be in there. No, it's not in there. So I'm gonna to have to put my password in now. I'll be back in a minute and we'll see what happens to finalize the process. So I've entered my password. We'll just go down now and click the finalize pairing button. We'll see what happens. So a minute remaining. Apparently it shook hands with the machine. The machines recognize it's there. Machine has gone off, so I hope that doesn't affect it. Hopefully it's still on in the background. Done. So it's successfully paired. View my machine, and there it is. Virtual pop on standby. Press the button, look. Turn it back on. It says heating up. So it's working. Got it paired.